Now let's consider the 17th century career of the British economist Sir William Petty. That's a picture of Petty, who was born in 1623 and passed away in 1687. Petty is best known for what he called political arithmetic. This made him a father of economic statistics and also national income accounting, in addition to being one of the first persons to develop modern census techniques. In the 1650s, Petty was a supporter of Oliver Cromwell, and he traveled with Cromwell's army in Ireland. He eventually received the charge to do the statistical charting of Ireland, and he did this finishing in 1656, and this was called the Down Survey, and it was really quite an extensive statistical survey of how many people lived in Ireland and what kind of economic activities they were engaged in. In return for these efforts, Petty was given a lot of land in Ireland and also a stipend, and although he had not come from the nobility, all of a sudden he was quite well off. He was to maintain close connections with Ireland throughout the rest of his career. The Down Survey was really a path-breaking exploration in the recording of economic data, and Petty had to grapple with a lot of problems from incomplete data, such as figuring out how you might engage in some kind of statistical extrapolation to make up for data you don't have. Although statistics and record-keeping really can be thought of as Petty's major and lasting contribution, he had a lot of other economic ideas which turned out to be important. For instance, Petty was one of the first individuals to realize that income equals expenditure in a well-specified way of understanding the macroeconomy. That was related to his work in collecting data. He also had an early version of the multiplier, the idea that government expenditure can boost the economy. He had an understanding of the velocity of money. He argued for the value of full employment. He had some good examples of division of labor, which probably influenced Adam Smith later on. He wrote extensively on taxation and what would be fair, just, and efficient taxation. And also, he stressed, in general, the benefits of having a large and growing population. Those are some of his other early contributions to economic reasoning. In general, Petty had a quite important and also noteworthy life. In addition to his influence over Ireland, Petty, in his earlier years, worked with Thomas Hobbes as Hobbes' secretary. He was a founding member of the Royal Society in England and a key figure in the early scientific revolution of the 17th century, and he worked with a number of the individuals involved in the early scientific revolution. Uh, he did work on anatomy. He also was an inventor and entrepreneur, and he was a promoter of an idea known as the double-bottomed boat, which he thought would be more stable and more efficient. For further reading, where to go? Well, you can access some of Petty's writings through his Wikipedia page, which is itself useful. In the online Library of Liberty, an excellent source, there are a number of Petty's economic writings. There's a book which collects a lot of them, listed here, Economic Writings of Sir William Petty. If you're only going to read one, maybe the one to start with is Political Arithmetic. Uh, but oddly, I think Petty is an example of a writer who it's actually more interesting and more fruitful to read about than to read him. So a lot of his contributions were what he did and not so much what he wrote, and his ideas and what he wrote are often scattered or distributed across a fairly wide number of pieces, not all of which were intended for explicit publication during his life. So this is not online, but one excellent place for reading about Petty is a book by Ted McCormick called William Petty, and that sets Petty in his important historical context. Overall, Petty's an extremely important figure. He started to bring the idea of the scientific revolution to the collection of economic data.